Thank you, uh, Madam Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And uh, good morning and happy new year to uh, all my colleagues. Um, first uh, item that I want to speak to is the landfill gas beneficial use feasibility study. Now, um, I did print off what's available online and all I'm really here to do today on that particular item is uh, ask the members of the committee to lay over the decision until all of council has had an opportunity to review um, any uh, uh, provided reports that might come to you today and suggestions. Uh, we're hearing more and more from our colleagues and from residents that we often don't get enough notice to review items that come before us at council. Um, and I would uh, respectfully ask that we, um, we listen to that uh, concern and that we, uh, as or you, sorry, as a committee would uh, lay that item over to make the documents available to all members of council. I think this is a, a wonderful opportunity. I have spoken to people that have been uh, uh, involved and some other experts in the field. And I think that there's a, a, a great um, chance for something to be proud of. So, uh, but I think it requires more due diligence than uh, being presented something at the meeting. So I would ask that of you for item number two. Item number three, you know, I, I, I moved this motion uh, myself once at least that I know of, and it was opposed in, uh, by the public service and defeated by council. But I'm, I'm truly grateful that this motion, uh, another attempt was given the proper consideration. And I thank my colleague and friend, uh, Councillor Mays for supporting me this, uh, seconding the motion. Um, this isn't exactly what I was hoping for. I don't think it's exactly what I, what I had in mind. I know it's not, but it's a step forward. And I'm good with that. I, I, I think that we uh, started with nothing and we have something right now, something that we can look back on in a year from now, evaluate and see what kind of reaction we're getting, what kind of engagement is happening. And then we can re reevaluate uh, possibly doing more. But I commend the department on paying more attention to the item and for coming up with a creative solution that works within their means and works within the city's means to provide some benefit to those that are you know, taking action to protect our environment. Any step forward is a step forward. A baby step works great. And, and I'm, I'm just, I'm pleased to see that we can, we can be reasonable. We can find solutions. We don't always have to agree on the main topic, but that truly is what democracy is about. We, we talk about the items that we find a way that is that is a, a way forward. We're not staying the same. It's not the status quo. We're not going backwards. This is a way forward presented to you today. So I want to thank the committee for considering that motion. I want to thank the public service, especially water and waste, for their due diligence and their work and their creativity and coming up with a program that I that I'm proud to support. And I hope that it will be uh, passed unanimously by the members of this committee today. And that's all. I have six minutes left. I can sing. I take requests. Thank you. And thanks for raising that motion at number three. That did not go forward a couple of times. So yes, good working with you on that, Council Brian. Thank you for the uh, kind words. And yeah, I think that's uh, I'll, I'll certainly be supportive. Council Reedy has a question. Yeah. Um, my first thing is, uh, did you know that um, the study, the testing related to taking off the methane gas and using it for heating supply, um, that, that actually started back in my first term between 2010 and 2014. So uh, the issues related to and all the aspects to uh, this uh, plan to move ahead, um, you know, it's, it's been out there for the public to hear about for for like six seven years are you aware of that i am aware of that but from what i understand is we're going to come forward with some suggestions today that's my understanding and i think we uh we will see what has been determined to be the the way forward and what i'm asking because we haven't seen that final report yet so it's very hard for me to stand here and talk intelligently about something when the information isn't shared entirely so that's why i'm asking that it just be laid over and the information be given to all members of council so we have that opportunity to uh read it to learn to do some due diligence and to understand what's being presented and what all the other options are so yes i am aware uh i'm just 
now bringing out the reality that uh, just looking at it today and going to council in a couple of weeks to vote for something I don't think is is proper. Okay. Um, on uh, on the results of your motion, I, I was going to say, Councillor Klein, you are getting things done in your first term, and uh, while this doesn't sound perfect, it, it is a start, as you noted. Um, uh, I'm going to be asking some questions because the real difficulty is in the details uh, in terms of how, for example, uh, I can't quite remember their name, Winnipeg Compost, who uh, charges basically uh, $30 a month, $360 a year for their, uh, I guess you'd call it curbside pickup of uh, compost material uh, for their aspects. And uh, um, um, so really, I think my question is, uh, were, did those things come to your mind when you were reading this report over in terms of how, how is that going to work? Is it going to work like a low income bus pass where uh, the, the compost service provider is going to have to do an income test in order to uh, uh, receive subsidy or anything like that? Well, I, first of all, thank you for the, the kind words off the start. And also thank you for your mentorship while I've been on council because we and I have had some really great discussions and uh, always appreciate it. The, the report, yes, does beg uh, for questions. You're right, the devil is in the details and we need to hear the details, um, but we also have to acknowledge a step forward is a step forward. So I'm sure that my colleagues on this committee will ask the questions that are necessary. Um, and then uh, I'll watch uh, while your meeting continues from the office and uh, look for the details to come out during that time. We don't have that opportunity as a counselor, as you know, um, to do that in our presentation. So. Uh, I have, I have uh, much respect and uh, confidence that uh, the four members of this committee will ask the questions that are required to get the details. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.